Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Deer and Donuts, and today I want to bring to you what I believe could be the best do-it-all binocular available on the market for hunting, and that's these Vortex Viper 12x50. Now if you're new to our channel, our reviews are usually super down and dirty, just cover the basics, don't go way overboard, and we usually like to start with the numbers. Like I said, these are a 12x50 binocular. The 12 power means it's going to be a little bit more powerful than what you're used to from your 8x42 or 10x42 that's widely available on store shelves. It also comes with a 50 millimeter objective lens. That's also going to be a little bit bigger than that 42 that you're probably used to. Those two do a really good job of counteracting each other though. The larger lens lets in a little bit more light and a little bit larger field of view, which counteracts that 12 power binocular. Now Vortex advertises these as a premium optic at not a premium price tag. And I think they really do a good job of hitting that mark. It's a really, really good value. Vortex, for whatever reason, advertises these at $730. Vortex's website is the only place I've seen them for $730, and the cheapest I was able to find them was on Amazon at $560. I did you guys a favor through the link in the description. If you wanna go check them out after this video, just go ahead and click on the link, it takes you straight to it. It also comes with the biggest benefit, I believe, of Vortex, and that's their warranty. It's pretty much a no questions asked lifetime warranty. They do a really good job of taking care of their customers. The goal is not to use it, but just knowing it's there if you need it is really helpful. Now the final thing I want to touch on on numbers is the weight. It is a little bit heavier than most binoculars, not by a ton, just by a little bit, but it is 28.8 ounces. Let's talk about the cons of these bad boys. I really don't have a lot of bad things to say about them. I use them for a lot of years for a good reason. But as some of you know, probably from watching this video right up here, that I recently switched over to the Vortex Razor 18x56 binos. And I did that because these don't really specialize in anything. At this point in my life, most of my hunting is out west, and I wanted something with a little bit more magnification and just a touch more clarity. And those razors really did a good job of hitting a sweet note for me. That being said, this is a do-it-all binocular review, and you don't necessarily want them to specialize in anything at that point. That's my only con, and it might not even be a con to you. Now, before I jump into my pros, I have to do my normal impassioned plea as a YouTube creator, and that's that if you are enjoying what you're seeing, or if you enjoy hunting content and gear reviews, jump down, hit the subscribe button. It would mean a ton to us. As some of you may know, YouTube really throttles back the things you can do until you hit a certain subscriber number. So if you want to see the channel grow and see some fun new stuff, like I said, hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to myself, Tom, and Scott. With all that being said, let's dive back into why you're actually here. And that's the review of these. Let's talk about my pros. And my first and foremost one is that I truly do believe these do it all. They're not too strong to use in the Midwest whitetail woods, but they're not too weak to use out west to find game. I've used them to overlook swamps in Michigan. I've also used them in that same fall to find coos deer and mule deer at a thousand yards. Because they're 12 power, I really do believe that they're pretty adaptable to any scenario. So if you're looking for a binocular that you can carry across the US or even the world on your hunts and not be behind the eight ball, I really think these are it if you're looking for just one binocular. The next pro is the quality to price tag. Like I said, Vortex advertises these as a premier optic at not a premier optic price tag. I really think they hit that sweet spot. They're at the upper end of their mid-range binoculars, and I think that is a really good position to find your best bang for your buck. They're right about the point where you start hitting that diminishing return of money spent to quality gain. So if you're looking for something that really wows you for the price tag, these are probably it. And if you're looking for something that is going to save you some change to maybe get that out-of-state tag, but you still want to have quality gear, again, look this way. The final pro to me is the quality and clarity of these optics. Never once have I felt like I'm holding anything but a premier optic. You got nice, solid clicks on the eye relief. The focus knob has no slop in it. Even the individual diopter works really smoothly. I've never felt like I've lost anything because I've gone to a mid-tier binocular with these. Even the clarity of the glass is outstanding. 
I can find things ways out there and know exactly what it is. And the low light dispersion on these is really, really good. I've never had issues finding things at last light, which is really important to us as hunters. That wraps up my review on these Vortex Viper 12 by 50 binos. I hope you liked what you saw. Again, jump down, hit the subscribe if you could, it'd mean a lot. Like, comment, come chat with me. It would all mean a lot to me. I hope to catch you guys on the next one.